There's a little town named the Little Valley, and that town is filled with scandal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Acme Theater's presentation of the improvised soap opera, Scandal. You might be wondering what's going to happen tonight, but don't ask us. We have no idea. Now, let's meet our cast of scandalous characters. She's a dangerous vixen who's returned to town seeking something mysterious or maybe just a good night in bed. Her name is... Cece Angle. Woo That's right. And Cece has teamed up with her nephew. He's the amoral captain of the football team and now the coach and he's a total douche. His name is... Chaz Angle. Chaz is dating the sweet, innocent cheerleader with a heart of gold. She's sweet and innocent and has a heart of gold. And she's called... Ava was recently friends with this girl, but then Chaz put his foot down, breaking the heart of this extremely nerdy pear-shaped girl with a unibrow, named... Persephone Papadopoulos. Fortunately, Persephone has other friends, like this girl who's, if it can be imagined, more nerdy than Persephone is. She's a sidekick and a mathlete, and she's known as... Marcy Muldoon. <laughs> Marcy doesn't really get along with her father, because she knows math and he's a PE teacher. Named... The coach has been carrying a torch for quite a while for this woman, the principled principal of the school. She's hard-nosed and carries a sharp ruler, and she's named... Principal Victoria Angle. Few people know that Victoria once was married to this man. Despite the fact that you should boo him now since he's evil. And his name is... Silas Rothschild. Silas is married to a strange, cold, and dangerous woman from a strange, cold, and dangerous land known as Iceland. And she is called... Noof recently explored the mine, and I mean that metaphorically, with this man. Even though she's married to Silas, this is Silas's right-hand man and psychopathic mine foreman. <laughs> and his name is... Max the Axe Diesel. <laughs> by this talented individual. All right, you may have paid for your entire seat, but you're only going to be using the edge of it for this action-packed night. Sit back, relax, and enjoy tonight's episode of Scandal! We now go to the mines 
beneath a little valley where Ava has retreated with the dark knowledge she has learned. Max wanders up and says hi. to wander in.
likes hitting. And most women crumple like a house of cards. Well, I'm not most women. No, you're as not. You can see. You're the kind of girl I could throw down on this floor and take wildly. Well, it's gonna cost you. <laughs> and I don't mean money. Well, what the hell do you mean then? <laughs> <laughs> what does that I... even mean? <laughs> Close that school down, but I need help. All right. Tell me what you need me to do. I need you to plant drugs on your sister. Fine. And I, <laughs> I like you a lot. I'll give you a pound of cocaine. I want you to put it in her purse. Huh? And I'm going to call the police and make sure they show up when she shows up to school. Okay. Now let's talk about you in a leather cat suit for a while. <laughs> Such a simple plan. <laughs> Meanwhile, where is Principal Victoria? She happens to be wandering into the gymnasium where she finds her son Chaz coaching the football team. It's raining, so they're in the gymnasium. <laughs> I go long. Go long. You got it. Have you thought about that? Are you ready to be a daddy? 
They take, they take the pill, it's fine. The it's pill, the pill is in 100% proof. It's 99.9% proof. You are such a child, box. you know nothing. <laughs> Wear the condom, strap it up, boy. So I can have sex. You can have sex as long as you're responsible for it. Do you know what I'm saying? Wear a plastic, darling. That's why I gave you that box for your birthday. So you're fine with me having sex with everyone on campus, including teachers? And uh, slowly moving our way up to maybe your position? I don't know. What? I started a coach. I would you be a principal? Have I you not seen what I go through? The stress I and everything? Why would you want to do that? That's not a bad job either. No, I don't. I would never want you to do this. You're, you could be so much better. I do this for you to put a house and food on your table. Championship. I was popular. I would sit like this. No, this. <laughs> Championship. You got that. I get 
some strong language in this show. Danny is in his office. He coaches other things besides football, so he hasn't lost his job. When Noof arrives, she wants to find out what goes on in the school and maybe ask him if she can get work there. Thanks for the ping pong advice, Coach. I would never make it without you, man. Oh, you're welcome, John. Thank you so much. I'll be thinking about you when I graduate college. She got it. It's all part of my game plan. Hello? She's on her own when she runs into Chaz, putting books in his locker.
office. Little does she know she has a purse full of cocaine. When Silas arrives with the police officer. tips from you. <laughs> Look at you. You think you're hot stuff, don't you? You haven't even noticed the policeman over there yet. Oh, good <laughs> God, Gotten drops. Am I supposed to be intimidated, threatened? What? What's going on now? Could you please uh, lead me to your purse or object that carries your feminine things? My feminine things? Right behind the desk over there, officer. You may want to check her vagina. That's pretty large, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't bring any gloves. You're not here, and I'll please myself because you are never able, capable to please me, <laughs> darling. I could please you for oh, a while. Please, the garden boy, the pool boy, the taco boy, I knew what was going Excuse on. me, ma'am. Did you say the taco boy? The <laughs> <laughs> taco boy? Who the hell sleeps with a taco boy? <laughs> But that's <laughs> taking it too far. What? What do you want? Uh, uh, Ma'am, uh, could you please explain uh, this pound of cocaine in your purse? <laughs> the taco boy? <laughs> Ma'am, I need an explanation real fast, or you're going downtown. I am not going down nowhere. <laughs> with the with the cleft palate. You oh, shut up! This is a bigger issue going on here. That's why you're single. Shut your face. Okay. Shut yours. Okay. Are you really right about this? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, I would fuck you so hard if I had a God damn it, then I go again. I can't be your friend. I'm too big. 
thing for you, but don't you think people would respect you and look up to you more if you were nice to people and kind to people who admired you? That's a fall for your college. <laughs> <laughs> time we saw them. When Max arrives looking for Noof. So I have the job? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I gotta go to Iceland. I am happy. <laughs> I have not been happy for a long time. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Now with this big O, that doesn't make sense. 
sex. No, a job. <laughs> you want some of this? No. You now listen, my girl. You, your girl knows oh, she's married to Silas. Yeah. No. And then no. she's no. more. No. No.
and I'm going to do everything against what he says. <laughs> That's exactly what she said. Huh? That's exactly what she said. It sounds like her. You do, you do her voice really well, too. It's Thank really you. accurate. I got an idea. What? Oh. <laughs> um, if she's studying with Persephone, I don't see why if you didn't want a little extra help with your math. What? Hey! Yeah, you know what? I, That's not a bad idea. I, I just failed my last couple tests. I could use a tutor. I just won the math leads regional championship. Oh wow! Yeah. I could have won the I could have won the math but I think we.